struggling with sub items in one day cool? Your superhero is here to help you. I'm Marina, a product manager at SteelSoft. I have five tips for you today on how to manage sub items in one day cool and breathe. Let's get straight to the point. Let's add your first sub task. Here's how to do this. And the first obstacle here is that sub items don't automatically inherit the code structure of a parent item. And you probably will go for saving this column structure or adding your own workflow to manage this subtask. If you follow the first way, we need to add our first column and find this copy parent column structure that uh, replicates these columns to this new sub item. Or we may want to add new columns to this workflow. Let's follow this way. For example, we need to add people column to this task to assign this task to someone. Then uh, status column and timeline column. Timeline column. Okay, and let's add task itself, develop content plan. Let's assign some values to it. Okay, and um, here's the tip how to save this structure for a new sub item that is added on the board. We need to go to automation center and find our board automations and add a new automation here. Then we need to set up a trigger as item created and then find sub item, create sub item. Then uh, check uh, what structure this sub item will have every time a new item is added on the board and press create automation. So it means that now every time we add sub items item on a board, it will have this uh, structure. New item. As you see, our new item has sub item with the structure that we already added. Moving on, and here is a more tricky case with sub items. As you see, I already had a few more tasks to save our time and to show this case. Uh, so, you know, in complex projects, uh, some tasks rely on the completion of the preceding steps. Uh, so, in our case, uh, we can identify that with the dependency column and show the sequence of the tasks completion here. For example, the second tasks, uh, task rely on the first task and uh, the second, the third task rely on the completion of the second task. And with this column, we kill two birds with one stone because now we can show these dependencies on a contract uh, to see the connections of the subtasks. Uh, but I want to you note know, here that uh, to show the sub items uh, on a contract view, you need to go to this widget settings and um, check the sub items columns checkbox. Also, it may be useful for you to show the name of sub items on this view, yet to see what tasks exactly to perform. For the next tip, as you see, I've already made some preparations as well. I've added the priority column to show the priority of these tasks. And um, the case here is that sometimes we have lots of tasks on our plate, on our board, and we want to see what tasks are assigned to us uh, over high priority, for example. And here's the feature that helps us with that. Uh, we need to find uh, this filter button and find the sub items filter here. Then go to the people column and find the tasks that are assigned to us. Okay, we found this task, and now we want to see the tasks of a high priority to immediately uh, perform them. Then we can narrow down this filter and add uh, the priority column and identify this uh, high priority tasks. Um, and the next step, for example, we want to save this uh, view to have these important tasks at hand. So we can save this uh, filter as new view. Yeah, as you see, we've already done this and, for example, rename it as Irina's tasks. Ready? As our proficiency grows with sub items, we can move on to a more difficult case. And uh, for demonstration, it I already added a few columns uh, that are the number columns to identify the time spent for each task, uh, average time it takes to perform the task, hourly rate, and total cost, which is the formula column that multiplies hourly rate by time spent for each task. Uh, so what if we know to calculate all the costs for the tasks, tasks that we performed? Uh, actually, we don't have here the total feature to sum up all the costs automatically, but we can make use of the show summary and parent item feature and um, calculate all the costs here. But this column is not really flexible because you can't show the average cost, the minimum, maximum cost. Uh, also, when you move on with the sub items, you will notice that not all the widgets support these features and more and more limitations. So sometimes it's really handy to have spread to the hand to make all these transitions. 
and we develop the app just for you. Um, smart spreadsheet for monthly. You can install it on your instance and make use of the spreadsheet features to supercharge your board. Uh, when you install it, you will be able to add smart spreadsheet as a view. The cool feature here is that you can auto import your board without any extra actions. It takes just a few seconds. And here it is, all the sub items on a separate feed, and we can do whatever we want with them right here. For example, we want to calculate uh, this sum, total costs, right here under this column. Uh, then, for example, we want to identify the tasks that took more than we expected. And let's add a new rule here and uh, set it up like this. And now you see the tasks that took more are highlighted with the red color. As I mentioned, not all the widgets or dashboards support sub-items. So the next cool feature in our app that we made it possible to add our smart spreadsheet as a dashboard and visualize your data uh, in a way you want. Uh, let's, uh, let me show you how you can do this. First, you need to add widget and find our smart spreadsheet app here. I've already added it. And then you just import the board the same way that uh, I've shown in the preceding case. And then you make use of the chart feature and uh, build your graph based on the time spent and average time spent for each task. And now you can visualize what tasks uh, took more than uh, usually takes. So let's move on to the next case on how to work around sub-items limitations. Uh, when it comes to breaking down these sub-items into sub-items, -sub uh, there is no way to do this on Monday. Uh, but Usually, users work around this with the update section. They just add additional steps with the checklist and uh, break down this task into smaller pieces. As you see, some items on Monday have many limitations. I just managed to show you a few ones. But if you want to bypass them, just install our app on the Monday Marketplace and try it out for 14 days. In case you have specific questions, cases, just freely reach out to our team via the link in the description or share your comments, feedback down below to this video. Uh, and I hope to see you.